We are looking here at a group of five Frank Leslie's Civil War newspapers that I'm going to flip through them uh, quickly like so, so you can see the contents. Uh, Frank Leslie was a direct competitor to Harper's Weekly and their format was the same, the approach was the same with the cartoons and so on and the woodcut illustrations. However, their distribution was much smaller and it was a shorter lived uh, of, of a magazine. Uh, and so uh, they tended to be much scarcer actually than uh, Harper's Weeklies. Um, and these Civil War years in particular are quite scarce. Here's General Banks, Louisiana Planters, and New Orleans right here. That's, that's a large image of Brooklyn. And here is, look at this, Vicksburg, Mississippi. Right near there, here's a little map of Georgia. There's various images, ironclads here, large full page one here. Great ads, a little woodcuts in them. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. That's funny. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got two more issues to flip through. They each appear to be complete. There's some, the pages are loose and so on. Some damp staining, but uh, it's just how they survive. This is the advance upon Charleston here. Double page of Union ironclad fleet. Uh, Fort Sumter in Charleston Harbor, firing upon it. Here's a little map here, a Mississippi River area. And yeah, that Irish Brigade there. And, and the final issue in this group is this one from August of 1863. Look at that explosion. Uh, yeah, of an ironclad. And like this. Double page coming up here. Yeah. South end of Morris Island, north end of Morris Island. Okay, this is the war in North Carolina, Spears Cavalry, Mississippi. And so this group of five issues is available as one lot online from me, Brian DeMambro.